11 national titles, seven Heisman trophies. No other school has won as many championships. No other school has had as many All-Americans. And in their home, you also play against their past. Galloping shadows from 1924, echoes of legendary coaches. In South Bend, they've become accustomed to teams chasing championships. And now comes another, inspired by a tradition without equal. corner just beyond Main Street chances are there's a game in a backyard children in the midst of imagining some with a notion innocent but powerful you eagerly followed your team listening to that distant voice you couldn't sleep after a victory couldn't wait till the day when it might be your time and then that day arrived, that moment, that affirmation, when you were told you were special. And so you worked and you sacrificed, pointing toward that day in the fall when all of America would be watching you, watching your team. The kind of day dreamed of in a backyard just around the corner from Main Street. So here we are, perfect seasons at stake, a game in a perfect place, a collision for history, a school hoping to finally ascend to college football's summit, a school hoping to add to its already abundant legend. Number one, Florida State, and number two, Notre Dame. The coming of a day dreamed of in backyards just around the corner from Main Street. Under control. And you men in the back below, I want you to analyze before you move. And they throw a forward pass. They throw a pass, wait till you see the ball in the air. And then go and get it. And when they get it, boys, that's when they go on offense. That's when they go to them. And don't forget we're going to pick it on one, like, one tackle they've this week. We're going inside them. We're going outside them. Inside them and outside them. And when we get them on the run once, we're going to keep them on the run. And we're not going to pass unless our secondary comes up too close. But don't forget, man, we're going to get them on the run. We're going to go, 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 go. And we aren't going to stop until we go to our goal line. Don't forget, man, today is the day we're going to win. They can't lick it. And from the black out of the goal, the first whistle of the man to win there. And fight, 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 fight. What do you say, man? Sierra Wood gets the carry, and right up the middle, breaks free. He's headed for the end zone. No one will catch him. The Irish with the game's first touchdown. Sierra Wood goes 62 yards, and Notre Dame leads. Teo's on the quarterback, sacks him on the 25-yard line. The senior from Hawaii. Golson keeps it, dives into the middle of the end zone. Now on first down, Jones straight back. Tao grabbed it, 
Teo may have gotten an interception. It's being signaled, yes. The ball was in the air, and Manti Teo, this could be a Heisman moment for this young man. This is an incredible dive, and until we see it on replay, it goes as an interception. Marcus, we're hope, uh, thinking about you and hope it works out. But... Riddick headed for the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. The dagger. Folks, let me say this loud and clear. Notre Dame is relevant again. Shotgun snap on first and ten. Gives inside. This could be an Irish touchdown. To fall on strong. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Irish has picked up all three first down opportunities. And from the 43, Wimbush looking deep. Chris Fink down there. Fink, did he catch it? Yes! Touchdown, Irish! The substitute safety, Brad Hawkins, is in at safety. He's in great position to make the play. This is a Irish show pressure. They bring four. Patterson is flushed. He's in trouble. He is sacked out of field goal range of the 40. Khalid Kareem. Second down. Patterson in trouble. He lost the football. It's free. The Irish pick it up. Tavon Coney out of bounds. Ball game. Notre Dame will win. Jared Grant. Holy cow. Are you kidding me? How was, many times will you see that on YouTube? Where was the weak side defense? Where was the gravity? <laughs> One-handed rebound because the rest of your body is blocking out. And oh! Caught it into the hole! Scores throughout their bench. Played 15 guys. Oh, oh BJ Beecham! Throw it down! Zach August can't stand shots. A little bit of pump fake and drive. And yes, sir, Nate Britt. Offensively, a week ago. Trying to start a little better this week as it is intercepted right down the middle of the defense. It's Watts, Xavier Watts with the pick, and he is still on his feet now as he takes this football down inside the 15. The team just to relax and execute ball plays. Williams, pressure, oh. able to elude that, and then throws an interception. It's Watts again. Now Watts trying to take it to the house as he takes a shot right there near the goal line, and they're going to mark him out at the two. C needs points for the conclusion of this first half. Williams, pressured, retreats, and now he throws another interception. It's Benjamin Morrison who rises. Play action for Hartman. Now Hartman looking deep down the field towards Tyree, and that pass is caught, and in for the touchdown goes Chris Tyree. He's all speed. Okay, we need a touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal to tie, and we got plenty of time to do it. Two-possession game, and here we go. This is Price bringing it out, trying to return uh -oh. of his own. Now Jadarian Price turning on the Jets. 20-10, touchdown uh -oh. Notre Dame! Wow! Drops, flips it to the outside. Williams, Williams lost the football, ball is loose, and it's scooped up. Watts into the end zone, <laughs> have a night! Boy, this is, this is really tough block management here. That's a, it's almost 20 seconds gone. Toward the end zone, touchdown, Will Fuller, 39 yards, what a throw by Kaiser, he bought time and then threw a strike. And a corner, Candidate got beat, the safety took his eyes off. One foot in bounds is all you need in the college game. Fuller is a star, and Kaiser found him. Excellent job by Fuller, never giving up on the play, though. He continued to sneak behind Kanade. Kaiser, as he rolled out, came back. 
And Mike, the How's that for your first touchdown pick? Just a winner. Terrific athlete. Lost the snap. Mishandled it. Lost right away of five yards. Tavon Coney in there. He comes away with the ball, and the Irish have it. Wimbush first down with time. Firing end zone. It is touchdown. Equinemius St. Brown. From the 23, Wimbush rips it. It is caught. Touchdown. Four men, Notre Dame rush, fires, and it's intercepted by Nick Watkins. Watkins goes up to pick Darnold. Around this place is drastically different from a year ago as Adams runs up the middle. He's got so many big runs this year. Can he take this home? He's gone. Touchdown again, Josh Adams. Largest margin of victory in the series in a half century for the Irish. But it's taken away by Calabrese with just eight seconds remaining. One final rush for the Irish. West over the line. Crystal. <laughs> Play that sprung this rush the other way. Rush just put it on goal. What do we say? No shot, a bad shot. It hit Milner up in the upper body, dropped down. Rush went to the net and found Pater off the glove of Milner, and it just rolled across the line. He didn't even have to go get it. It rolled in. Lee made sure it did. One thing about Milner in this game is had trouble catching the puck, and that was another situation where he had a chance to catch it and didn't. And it rolled behind him, and in, and the Notre Dame bench rocks. Dobson. Scores! Incredible individual effort by Dobson. He's got four. The Irish tie it up. This is Tevlin. Over to Taylor. Tevlin driving down, gets free, shoots, and scores! The captain sends Notre Dame to the championship game! Two fifteen to go, Notre Dame by six. Carter, three! Oh, oh, oh. A space dribble! What confidence he's exuding! They call it a two, a long two for Carter. Now a takeaway by Heron Goaty. Trying to go coast to coast. Foul, count it! Have you ever seen a runaway freight train? That's what it looks like. He's alone! Sally Weiss, you can't have him either. At 100, they'll have to settle for 99 and a win over the number five team of the country. And the students storm the court. From the 46, second down, Davis scans, he gets out, sideline toss is ruled, ruled, a catch! It's 13 if it stands, it's a catch and it is good. Absolutely, good. that's the all. Hokey fans making noise, but back to pass, he's looking, it's thrown in, it's part of the 10, play pull to the 8th, first and goal Irish, 52 seconds remain. Here, pressure coming here. On the right. Fake to Armstrong, run, book five, book to the end zone, touchdown, Ian Book! The scrimmage, and the six you see in shot, Patterson, 
bumped as he throws. Got under it. Intercepted. Kyle Hamilton goes down, and the Irish will escape with a come from behind. Welcome to those of you who watch Colorado beat UCLA. Here at Notre Dame, trailing by three, trying to rally here for a last-minute field goal that would send this one into overtime. Backup quarterback Pat Dillingham got his man underneath. On his belt is free. And there's a defending. Michigan State decides to bring presser. There's the slant pass right there. Defensive back Nelson again slips as he's trying to get around Gazzi on the play. The ball is reversed and into the end zone for a, Michigan, for a Notre Dame touchdown. Whew. Hello, Rudy is exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they coming on the blitz. Quick throw. Battle. 50. Battle. 45. On side 40. 30. Down to the 25. 20. 15. 10. 5. Touchdown, Irish. <laughs> and there's battle from Dunningham. <laughs> Donatin into Grant, around a screen from Zach August. Grant over the midcourt stripe. Grant stops and pops, running three is good. His first field goal of the game, over the midcourt stripe. Grant around a screen from August. Grant now takes the three and knocks another one down. Grant over the midcourt stripe. Grant, another three on the way. Another three is down for Jaron Grant. 60-57. Here comes Grant. Grant spinning over midcourt. Grant behind his back being double teamed. Grant drives the lane, lays it off to glass and in. And he's fouled. The basket counts. And he's fouled. Jaron Grant can go to the line to tie the game. At the line, the free throw is good. We are tied at 60. It's now the running hook is short. Tipped up, look at Sherman. Tipped up and in by Zach August. We're tied again, again. 93-93. Del Pavilion logo. Smith, deep three is no good. Rebound Bahannon out of bounds, and it's over. It's over in the longest regular season game in the history of the Big East Conference. Notre Dame has defeated Louisville. 104, 101, and not one, not two, not three, not four, but five overtimes. <laughs> well, if I'm Jimmy Clausen, I'm thinking, I'm trying to find my big tight end. And Kyle Rudolph right now is out in the slot. He's right out here. He's a big body. If he can just get between his man and the ball. Here's the ball game. Clausen to the end zone. Touchdown. And guess who? Kyle Rudolph with a touchdown catch. A stunned Purdue crowd. And that was 6'6", 260, working against 6'1", 210. Physically, it's a mismatch, and Notre Dame used it to perfection. He's just going to run and get body contact and then just kind of break back out. And he's working against the safety, Dwight McLean, who again is 6'1", 200 pounds, against 6'6", 260. And Jimmy Clausen does a nice job of throwing it to his outside arm, but you initiate the contact if you're Rudolph, get separation, and then the ball is there. And he handed it off, up the middle, and there it goes right into the end zone. Five receivers against eight droppers. They need to get close to the 10-yard line for a first down. And the buff, Dolson, going to the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. Ben Koyak. Up the middle, and Hogan just desperately gets it away. That was Shoemake. How about defensive coordinator Brian Van Gorder calling an all-out blitz? And that's a 10-second runoff, so the game's over. Game is over. And that is it. Notre Dame survives Stanford 17-14. Wilson comes in, catch it for Vito. Brown for three! Vito knocks a big three-pointer down. Wisconsin on top. Back on the attack. Jackson at the rim. Huge answer. Badger ball.
19.3 seconds remain. Two teams have made it here to the Sweet 16 on final possession. Jacks turnover, a steal! Jackson with the bucket! Notre Dame has the lead! Shot clock is off. Kane hit the game winner in the second round. He's on the take. No! Benson with the rebound! And a foul immediately. Free throws coming. Notre Dame steals the lead late. Wisconsin in a familiar position. One timeout left. Do they take it here? No, they're going to let it roll. Oh, Jackson will steal! Notre Dame ball! Jackson picks the pocket of Koenig! And the Irish can ice it! Before he made the tackle. Kaiser keeps it and follows a block, and the Irish do draw first blood in the link. And a long yard. Procise. Now it's a fake, and Kaiser's off and running in his seam. The quarterback in the Owls' territory, winning a foot race. Touchdown, Irish. 79 yards. Kaiser looks to the end zone. Loops it through. Caught. Touchdown. Will Fuller, hometown touchdown. Walker. Escapes and then throws downfield. Intercepted. Russell jumped in front of John Christopher. And the Irish are going to hold on. Pat Cavanaugh to Taylor. That's too easy. All-American with a lefty hammer. Fires on the run. And shows off that lefty laser. Here's Chris Cavanaugh. Gets free. Fires. Scores. Notre Dame pressing downhill. They're on an 8-1 run, and they've got a five-goal lead on Maryland. This is danger time for the Terps. Pat Cavanaugh to brother Chris, going low. Kiss the stone. The bench can sense it. All that glitters is still gold. Notre Dame makes it back-to-back -back national titles. but puts the ball back to the five-yard line. Chris from his own end zone. Standing. Now he's got Rudolph, who makes the catch. Kyle Rudolph rambling down the sideline to the 15, the 10, and the touchdown! Coverage on the end. Top! What a grab! Barkin! Still on his feet! Happy New Year, Irish! LSU was trying to stay away from man coverage to avoid issues like this. They had been playing zone, but they went back to who they are. And Jackson against Boykin seemed like a good matchup, except for the size and leaping ability of Boykin. And then he throws Jackson out of the way, and you got yourself a big, big score for the Irish. And what do you say about Ian? Two scores. Down 11. The two-point conversion. The field goal. Irish are very much in this if they can strike fast. Here's Tate. Going to try to give him a lift. He beat the first man. There's an alley in the middle. Tate explodes. One man to beat. Hayes loose at the 40. Hello, end zone. The Irish are back. Going to the end zone. And the pass is caught by Tate. Touchdown.
plays, 73 yards. The finisher, finisher a 33-yard Golden Tate touchdown reception from Jimmy Clausen. 33-30. Just got the ball. Can't pull a trigger. They go to Knight and Knight's first goal of the game. Ties it at 64. What clutch, baby, clutch. He says, forget all the others. The Irish got a chance to take it right for the win. Last shot time. Gonna Thomas Yo knows the dribble. Spread the court. They'll try to beat you off the dribble and score or find an open man. Page has got Carroll. It's Thomas against Knight. Is it going to be over? Two of the best points in the Big East now. Settle down for a five-second duel. This for the game. Thomas has to give it up underneath. Oh, it. The Irish lead it. Point six on the clock. Timeout. Pittsburgh. A great penetrating move, and he kicks it to the freshman who puts the Irish up. What a great look for it. What an unselfish play by Thomas. What a wild finish. Take a look at Mr. Thomas as he drives it inside the Francis with the catch and traffic and the score. Point six on the clock. It's going to be tough to get a good look here. There's Francis with the catch. Lays it with the left hand. The conversion. Unselfish play by Thomas. One of the elite point guards in America. You will be that driving force to motivate those coaches and those players to beat Southern Cal. Here comes the Trojan horse, and Notre Dame, for the first time, is coming out of the tunnel. You heard the reference about a green machine. Look at the jersey. That's a Notre Dame football team for the first time wearing green. You talk about stretching emotions, looking for an asset. Finding an advantage, whatever it takes. The players, when they went back to the locker room, were given the green shirt. And here they come. Montana Rose. Rose. Touchdown, McAfee. Down. They go to the fullback. Mitchell. Touchdown. He's getting good blocking. He has time, and he throws. Everything to play for. To get the ball to the outside, cannot do it. Hook for Fink. Over the shoulder catch. Touchdown as the Irish finally break through. What a pitch and catch. Tremendous ambassador for this program. Now Williams finally has some room. Dexter Williams in the clear. And in the end zone as Notre Dame takes the lead. Third and six. Jones is the back. He's got it again, and Jones a lot of room. Tony Jones makes a cut, gets a block, and scores! Is that the play that will seal the playoff bid for Fighting Irish? USC's been aggressive tonight. They're bringing all-out blitz. The only problem is nobody picks up the back out of the backfield. Watch the block downfield. Remember we talked about McMillan? Boom! He made that interception. This time, Miles Boykin comes up. It's left now. Golson at the controls on first and ten. Dancing around, plenty of time. And goes deep down the field toward the middle, and it's complete to Daniels. First and goal, Notre Dame. Total. That one good for 45. Golson wants to run it on first and goal. Now he's thinking about passing it to the inside. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Theo Riddick. Big one, but this play was huge. Trailing by two, Golson buying some more time. Is he going to run this in? Yes! Reaches for the two-point conversion, and we're tied at 20 with 2.11 left. Five, Hendricks, right there. Get some low. Ball's the ball's loose. loose. To send Notre Dame to its first loss of this season. Snap a little high, gets it down. Here's the kick, and it's no good. Just outside the right upright. Touchdown wins it. Golson trying to get across. Yes! Touchdown, Notre Dame! And they stay perfect at 9 0. First and goal, they run it. 
Packers zone. Yeah. Whittick quickly up under center, keeps it himself. I'm telling you, you can't get in there. He's having trouble. No, you're running. They didn't get there. But Farley came up over the top. And it is a fourth down coming up for USC. And now the clock is wound down inside of three minutes. There. Red checks back in as the running back. He's behind the fullback. Play action. Roll right. Throw. Diving. Incomplete. A goal line stand for the ages for the Fighting Irish. A history of knocking off top-ranked teams here in South Bend. It's an eight-point game. But now a three-on-one. Here's Cooley. Takes it in and throws it down. How about that for a response by the Irish? Atkins to Cooley who goes in for the jam! The monster jam! Jack Cooley just drilled that through the hoop and it's 52-42. The lead back to 10. Knocked out of bounds by Fair, so Notre Dame will keep. That's a huge win for Mike huge. Gray in Notre Dame. This guy's been coach of the year in the Big East three of the last five years. Doesn't have anywhere near the talent this year he's had in the past. This is one of his best efforts at Notre Dame. As number one goes down, Syracuse undefeated no more. Two, 107 left, first and goal Eagles at the Notre Dame four yard line. Mike Cloud straight ahead, down to the two yard line. Bobby Howard made the tackle. Second down, and goal to go. A touchdown gives them the lead. Notre Dame is out of timeouts. BC has two. Cloud straight ahead, stopped at the goal line by Bobby Howard. Cloud alone back. Cloud again to the end zone. No signal. He did not make it. A pretty good surge. Notre Dame's defensive line has a good surge. And Friday, what a hit by number 13. Nice to see the quarterback sneak this ball behind that big offensive line or give the ball to, Mc to Cloud. It all comes down to this play. Mike Cloud buried short of the goal line. Stopped short of the goal line. Hits a cutting Vastoria, who while falling down, lays it up and in, and he gets fouled. Corner, Beecham, Beecham for three. Got it! Coming on the shot clock, Jackson out of a cutting, Colson. He goes up strong, puts it up and in. Notre Dame leads, 65-64. Jackson puts it on the floor, spins, fall away, jumper. Good! Largest lead of the game for the Irish, 67-64. Now on over to Vastoria. Underneath, August lays it up and in. They spread the floor and got the easy basket. Largest lead of the game for Notre Dame. To the basketball, 4-3, no good. Rebound, Vastoria, they go over his back. Vastoria is going to go to the line for two. He's ready to run onto the court. Second free throw, no good. Rebound battle for August knocks it away and takes it away. And that will do it. Number one goes down at Notre Dame again. Notre Dame 80, top ranked Carolina 76. What you doing here? Don't you have practice? Not anymore. I quit. Oh. Well, since when are you the quitting kind? I don't know. I just don't see the point anymore. So you didn't make the dress list. There are greater tragedies in the world. I wanted to run out of that tunnel for my dad to prove to everyone prove that I worked. Prove what? That I was somebody. Oh, you are so full of crap. You're five feet nothing, a hundred and nothing, and you got hardly a speck of athletic ability. And you hung in with the best college football team in the land for two years. And you're also going to walk out of here with a degree from the University of Notre Dame.
In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. And after what you've gone through, if you haven't done that by now, it ain't gonna never happen. Now go on back. Down alone with a punt and almost blocked. Gets it upfield. Zibikowski looking for a block. Cuts to the right to the 40. Gets a block. Gets to the 45. 50. Up to the 45. 40. 30. One man to beat. 20. 15. 10. He's down to the 5. Touchdown, Irish. 41 yard punt and a 60 yard return. And Tone, the crowd is going wild. That was just sheer determination by Tom Zibikowski. Got a Zibikowski's 60-yard punt return for touchdown gave the Irish a 21-14 halftime lead over the top-ranked Trojans. Zibby would go on to tie the school career record for punt returns for touchdowns with three on the season, but none more exciting than his first against USC on a sunny fall day in Notre Dame Stadium. Irish. Got to get the shots off here. They do. Save made. Rebound right wall middle. Score! The Irish are going to the championship game! Callie Ritterwall had three goals coming into this season, or coming into this hockey game. He has two this evening. Cinderella lives. The Giant goes home. One more chance. Morrison, can they do it again? Morrison, shot, score! Oh, oh. They do it again! Can you believe it? The luck of the Irish strikes again! Hey, right here, this is when you start to think, well, maybe they will get one more chance to score. And there, Morrison gets it, Morrison gets it. Wide top of the picture along with Ward, Andrzejczak back to pass, Brown a little delay, he's in the end zone, he's wide open, and Andrzejczak didn't see him, now he forces one in there and he makes the catch anyway, touchdown Notre Dame. Out at the 30 yard line, cuts to the right looking for a block, tries to cut to the outside, cuts inside, 25, he gets the 40, he gets the 45 through 50, he's on the sideline at the 40, he gets the 30, one man to beat 20, 15, 10, White, high spiral, drifting back round, round to the 34, to the 35, cuts up field, gets to the 40, 35, he has the 50, down to the 40, 35, 30, one man to beat, down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown again, Jimmy Brown! The hold was the net, talented Virginia team, you'll see Simon. Look at this one. Oh, oh my! Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, my! Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Shot down from the oh, wow. <laughs> he likes to shoot. He likes to take you off the bounce. Oh, he got stripped. He got it up. Oh, oh, are you serious? Oh. But Jaron Grant hitting a semi-miraculous shot considering he didn't even have the basketball with about a second left on the shot clock. That's no semi-miraculous. <laughs> that is flat out miraculous. Oh, it's amazing. They're going to want some help. He's got size to shoot over him. Dumped in oh, his pass. Pastoria got it! The presence of mind to find the open man, and that's Pastoria's first made field goal of the game. Wide open, he's hanging in the air, got great vision, has the size to look over the top of the defense. He's actually a no man slam, but he's up in the Short drop, fires for it, got the first down, kept it going. Samarja's got a block, headed for the end zone. Jeff Samarja reaches for the end zone. Got the touchdown. Going for better than 300 yards. Going for more. But Ramos got it. What a great catch. Touchdown, Notre Dame. He's back in the gun on third and three. A lot of bad on down. In this High intercepted. 15, 10. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Terrell Lambert. The junior from Oxford, California. Puts the Irish up by two with 2.53 to go. Stunned Spartan Stadium. Steps up. 
fires. And then Rice and the Irish say they've got it. So is that Lambert again? Floyd is not shy about putting it up. Wow. Oh, man. And see, Walkup was there and had to back off. You're right. Fouls and no fouls. I think I would have yeah. backed up on that one. Ten seconds. Switch. Jackson. Off the glass. August. No. Tip. Oh, yes. Plenty of time to get a shot off, though, here, Burns. 1.5 seconds. Don't let them get a running start. We've seen that already in this tournament. It was the defensive specialist, Pfluger, who got it. At the buzzer, Notre Dame wins it. And so August falls down. Wow, great tip. He just kind of tries to keep it active, doesn't he? Pat Kavanaugh as a passer with a hamstring injury. I'm not sure he's got the same range. Taylor feeding the three shot score. Chance here. McCann with time running down to the third. Now Chris Kavanaugh from the three staggered. The goal is good. Transfer. He won two titles with the Cavs. Over to Dobson. Left hand free. Fires and scores. 4 1 Notre Dame on fourth quarter faceoffs today. McCann splits the double. Hangs on to it. McCann shoots. Scores. The Fighting Irish. Play like a champion today. Notre Dame with its first title in men's lacrosse. You will not find anything, no school, that you can improve on its morals, its purpose, and its belief. And that's why I've been blessed to be here. God has been good to me. And I say this to you. You are Notre Dame. Where were you going? You're a golden donor. We're going to have a new coach. We're going to have a great team. I will be with you. I can only say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much you meant to me, how you supported me, how you lifted me up. When I was down, when I was depressed, I'd walk across campus. I'd be going to church and somebody say, hi, coach. And I just feel like a million dollars. I mean that. To the band, to the cheerleaders, to other people, but to the Notre Dame family. I can't say anything except I've been blessed. Thank you, and God bless you. But he walks out off of the field for the last time in this stadium, the last time that we will see it in this configuration. And he walks away after winning his 100th game as the head coach here at Notre Dame. What's huge as the rocket blasted off for 89 yards to open the third period. This wheel down around the five-yard line. The kick will come down, and Rugib will take it. Takes it at the 12, 15, 20, 25. He's at the 30. After Burner Durant, he's gone. 40, 45, 50, down the sideline at the 35. A right to the goal line at the 10, the 5, a touchdown, Irish. Then, Ismail did his trick for the second time. And the rocket's back for it. He's at the 9, to the 10, gets to the 15, the 20, 25, out of the pack, 30, 35, goodbye baby, at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, bye bye rocket touchdown, Irish. It was the first time any player had returned even one kickoff for a touchdown against a Michigan team in 32 years.
official has the opportunity. The referee has to take control here. He can go ask the PA announcer to tell the crowd to be quiet or they'll charge a timeout against Notre Dame. They'll talk to the captain. Here goes the referee over to talk to Pritchett now. Taylor again pleading with the referee and backs out and there is the penalty flag thrown against the crowd. second goal his number is called and McDaniel opens the scoring Dolson throwing it to the end zone to Amir Carlisle for the first down Dolson going for the end zone and a leaping grab made by Fuller Third and seven for Michigan. Gardner steps up and it's intercepted. Max Redfield on the run for Notre Dame. Michigan and Notre Dame are going to meet the bowl game. Second and six. And this is Carlisle going in for the score. Really good stuff. Gardner begins this. Oh. Here is to the air and stepping in front is Riggs. Of this rivalry. And Gardner is swarmed over and goes down at the 35, and Notre Dame takes over with 2.40 left. And Van <laughs> Gorder is beside himself. So yes, is Miller. Intercepted. Picked off in the secondary easily by Manti Teo, the All-American linebacker. Robinson sets, delivers, intercepted. Manti Teo. Intercepted, and again it was Teo, his sixth interception of the season. Play action. Woody fires, intercepted, picked off by Manti Teo, his seventh interception of this season. With a minute to play and up only one, Keith Wilkes is called for charging. Notre Dame has the ball and sets up for a game-winning shot. Tommy Curry just left Dwight Clay in the corner because Dwight, I think at that point, was 0 for 13. As Digger would say, 0 for life. And I was waving my hand feverishly to Gary that I was open, and, and when Brokaw passed it to me, you know, we had practiced that shot several times before, and I knew when I had it, you know, it was a good 90% chance I could make that shot. That's Clay to I thought we had defended uh, uh, Clay extremely well on that shot. He just hit a fine shot from out uh, on the side. John Wooden calls timeout to set up the Bruins' final shot. Here's what happens. Notre Dame 71, UCLA 70 with six seconds left. Into Walton, he can't score. Kermovich, Myers, Schumate, it's all over. Notre Dame has won the game. The number one ranked UCLA Bruins have been upset by the Irish of Notre Dame. 71-70, the longest winning streak in collegiate sports history has ended where it began three years ago. 28. Montana going. And it's a touchdown. A touchdown taken at the corner. Unbelievable, unbelievable finish. Houston on top, 34 to 12, and now it's all tied up, 34 apiece. Notre Dame has scored the touchdown. Right here, Lindsay. There's a couple of Houston people just in the camera angle. Haynes caught the football. And here comes the all-important extra point. It's tied 34-34. Joe Yunus into attempt. It's up. And it's good. Joe Yunus from Dallas, Texas, kicked the extra point, and the game is over. 
Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34. What a finish, Lindsay. I've never seen anything like it. Notre Dame completely dead. Came back in the fourth quarter to win it by one. Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34 as Joe Yunus kicked the untying point. He is a native of Dallas, Texas. What a finish it was. <laughs> Grant now in the corner, Jackson for three, got it, it's a big one, back to Grant, top of the key, Connaughton, right side, Jackson, right corner, Vastoria, three on the way, three is good, and we're tied, 64-64, Jackson to the left of the top of the key, Jackson drives left baseline, Connaughton for three, bang, Notre Dame leads, 67-64, timeout, North Carolina, right on cue, baby. Vastoria to Grant in the lane, back to Connaughton for three. Got it! Ten point Notre Dame lead, their largest of the game. And that will do it. Got it, Irish fans. Notre Dame has found the pot at the end of the eighth CC tournament rainbow, and the pot is filled with golden shamrocks. Notre Dame is the 2015. ACC Basketball Tournament Champion. Flip to the National Championship. Ogumawale. Good! One second remaining. No timeouts for UConn. Williams down the floor. Samuelson. Notre Dame with the win. Off to the title game! Ogumbawale for the win! Good! Arike Ogumbawale wins the national championship for Notre Dame! Taylor doing that time. Now trying to punch it in. Stefan Taylor. Still no signal from the officials. And it'll be marked just short of the touchdown. Taylor. Stopped it. The ruling on the field, in fact, stands as called. The game is now over. Stands as called means no conclusive evidence. Back to throw. Over the middle. Pass to Bennett. Touchdown, Notre Dame! Jerome Bennett with a touchdown. He is mobbed in the end zone. Back to throw. Meyer looks, looks, looks. Rolls to the right. Pumphrey throws the ball.
country to be part of because it was a never say die attitude. Huddling and just actually setting up at his leisure. Here is uh, Brady Quinn looking. Pump fakes. He rolls to the near side. Throws it. It's caught by Samarja. Inside the 20. Inside the 10. He's going in. Notre Dame has scored with 27 seconds left. Brady Quinn does it again. Unbelievable play by Brady Quinn to keep himself alive and find Jeff Samarja, who made a great run after the catch. Derek Landry and Victor Abiyamiri fittingly sack Patrick Cowan on the game's final play as the Irish beat UCLA 20-17 to improve their 2006 record to 6-1 on the season. The win marks only the third time in Notre Dame history the Irish scored a touchdown to win a game after trailing with less than 30 seconds left. The score, 31-24, the time, three seconds. And this is a moment that memories are made of. championship, no doubt, the Irish are number one. getting a hand on these punts. And this one is blocked once again, and the Irish have it. Botello gets a hand on it, Prince <laughs> Collie has the football, and into the end zone goes Collie.
There's your game-changing play, Jack. <laughs> I have never seen anything like it. It's their sixth block punt of the season. You know, college has used this spread punt. There's a lot of open gaps in here. Okay, here's a good look at it right here. This is Batello, and it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on those upbacks. Those guys in the blue jerseys have a running start. It's a tough block. Batello reaches out. It's textbook. He blocks it off the punter's foot. Full extension and awareness to finish it off. And there's Coach Mason. <laughs> Down 21, fourth quarter. DJ is picked off, intercepted again by Benjamin Morrison. Here goes Morrison down the sideline. Can he go? Yes, he can. Touchdown, pick six, Benjamin Morrison. Wow. The freshman has been everywhere tonight. Second interception. And he takes it all the way back. Benjamin Morrison is mat mature beyond his years. It's press coverage. He turns and finds the ball and he plucks it. And he knows what to do with it afterwards. A convoy of Notre Dame blockers ahead of him. Here's Pine to the air. Wide open is Michael Mayer for the touchdown. I would say that's the dagger, Jack. Eleven plays, 73 yards before the half. 11 plays, 75 yards here. When you're running the football, as well as Notre Dame has, the play action pass comes alive. Why not throw it to that guy? Drew Pine, clean pocket, a perfect strike. And remember, after that 2020 upset, Notre Dame faithful stormed the field. They're gonna have a heck of a job trying to keep them <laughs> off the field again. Here they go. <laughs> Same generation as his quarterback. Here's the give Kyron Williams left side into the secondary. Williams down the sideline. Kyron Williams might go. Notre Dame touchdown. It's eight points you leave on the table against a great team. Oh, and the toss is in the hands of the Wilson Carmola. Who will score? Touchdown. Bouncing off of ETN. Into the arms of Alusa Koromoa. Clemson shows pressure. Here they come with five. It's picked up and Book's going to take that shot. Now field Avery Davis, 20, Davis 10. First and goal for the Irish at the five. Third and goal for Notre Dame. Man, Russ playing coverage. Book on the roll. He throws end zone and it is caught for the touchdown by Davis. Kicker for the extra point to tie the game at 33. And he bangs it through. And hand to Williams, the blocking. The tight ends on that side. To the goal line and in. Kyron Williams for a Notre Dame touchdown. South Bend, second and goal for the Irish after the timeout. Williams, right to the right side. Powers to the end zone. And Kyron Williams scores again for Notre Dame. Stop. They knock off number one. Four to the right. Louis Angolay thinks that he's in trouble. He is set. Or buzzes out for coverage. Louis Angolay hit from behind. Dalen Hayes jumps up and gets him. Another loss. Back to the 39. Downs to get 24 yards for number one. Louis Angolay fires in the middle. It's caught and then knocked out. What's the ruling? Incomplete. What a hit on Davis Allen, Sean Crawford there, fourth and 24. Russian three, drop an eight. Louis Angelale steps up, no. loads and throws. It's caught, it's pitched backwards, up in the air, it's on the ground, still in Clemson's hands, and now it is down, it is over, and the Irish have knocked off number one Clemson.
each other again in the championship. And in the midst of the pandemic, there is pandemonium in South Bend. <laughs> and not quite social distancing. Yeah. What, about 75 minutes and imposed that will. But you saw championship hard on both teams. And this was a great football game. that just kept punching and I'm really proud of our guys because our defense was better in the second half. You love going to the beach but it's usually in Delaware. You're going to San Diego to play Alabama. Your thoughts on the Crimson Tide? Yeah, I don't know about I mean, there better be some Irish whiskey on that plane. I'm drinking some of that. Alabama.